At 5 foot 10 inches, Cody Miller stands about half a foot shorter than most competitive breaststrokers. But those six inches didn't stop him from being IU's first U.S. Olympic swimmer in over 40 years. It was indescribable, just super, super cool. Um, I didn't know, or I didn't realize that I was the first American um, Olympian to come out of IU from the swimming program in like 40 years. When I saw that on Twitter, that just like blew my mind. I was just sheer joy, just so excited. Um, it's really an honor. It's cool. And Miller's height wasn't his only disadvantage to the other Olympic contenders. At a young age, he was diagnosed with pectus excavated, or a sunken in chest, which is a condition that diminishes his lung capacity. However, that didn't stop Miller from chasing a dream. There have been moments, I'd say, you know, when I won my first national title in 2014, that was a big step. That was when I really cracked, you know, like top 10 in the world. And that's when I really saw the light at the end of the tunnel that, hey, you know, swimming, you know, post-college is a good idea. I, I would say that was probably the biggest, the biggest boost to my confidence. Um, so, you know, steady progress. It's been, it's been quite a ride. Miller grew up in Las Vegas, so his decision to attend IU was a little different than most of his teammates. Yeah, um, my club coach growing up uh, knew Coach Luz um, from when they were really young. They swam, I'm pretty sure they swam against each other, and so that was kind of the connection. And I uh, came on a recruiting trip and loved it, you know. And, you know, when I was really young, I had no idea I was going to end up at IU. I mean, I grew up in, you know, West Coast in Las Vegas, and, but it worked out great. I'm pretty happy, pretty happy about it. Miller has been part of IU's swimming program for seven years now. After graduating, he stayed in Bloomington to train with the Hoosiers and staff for the 2016 games. Uh, you know, I, I owe the majority of my success to the school and to the coaches and to my teammates that I've had. And um, I can't thank them enough. And I've been fortunate enough to continue training here since I graduated. You know, training as a postgrad, you know, not everybody has that opportunity. Not everybody is, uh, you know, allowed to do that where they go to school. But I was lucky enough to come to a school where they welcome those kinds of things, you know, and just help me, you know, guide my success. And, um, it's been pretty great. At the trials in 2012, Miller was also in competition to qualify for the London Olympics. But he finished 44th overall after ripping his suit before his preliminary race. This year, he was in fourth place in the finals before turning it on in the last 50 meters, posting the fastest split of any swimmer in the field to qualify at second place in the 100 breaststroke. You know, that's that's kind of part of my strat, my race strategy. You know, a lot of people go out real hard, you know, kind of fly and die mentality. And, you know, I kind of pride myself on the last 20, 30 meters of the race. And so I, I, I knew going into the race that, if, you know, if I was fourth or fifth at the wall, as long as I was in a good position to come home strong, I was okay. Um, but I'm sure a lot of people were kind of freaking out. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, just focusing on executing a good race and coming home strong. So Now that Miller has his spot, he is ready to take on Rio with his fellow Hoosier swimmers and divers. I mean, everybody just tries to get better from here, um, and I think we all will. I think we'll all go faster. Um, now it's just kind of fine-tuning a little bit of race strategy and um, really preparing more for the adverse conditions we're going to be dealing with when we're there. You know, like the late, you know, we're basically competing at midnight, so, you know, changing sleep cycles and just different schedule, you know, so adapting to things and just being able to perform under different conditions and different pressures. For Hoosier Sports Report, this is the Road to Rio series. I'm Olivia Ray.